What's up guys, it's Juan Zuniga, and in this video, I'm gonna talk to you about essentials for 2020. So, I'm gonna mean essentials as the clothing essentials for 2020, but essentials you guys need for 2020. The essentials are either gonna help you become better, look better, or just make your life easier. So if you guys are interested, let's hop in. The first one is a good pair of noise cancellation headphones. Now. There's a lot of them out there. There's amazing ones out there. For example, the Bose 700, Sony has a pair as well, but they're big and bulky. So I rec always recommend from now, after I try them out, the AirPods, um, the AirPods Pro. I think they're amazing. The reason is because they're so portable. They're so small. You put them in your pocket, you're good to go. You know, bigger headphones like the Bose 700s and stuff like that, it, they're bulkier. You, you can't put them in your pocket. You have to put them in your bag or whatever, and they just add more stuff to your bag and makes your stuff heavier and bulkier and just doesn't make sense. Now, if you guys are interested in those and you like those, go ahead. But in my opinion, the ones I recommend are the AirPods Pro just because of that. Now, they are a little bit pricey. They run for around 259 bucks, which, you know, it is a little bit pricey, but compared to the Bose, they run about almost 400 bucks. It's not bad at all. Now, the noise cancellation is actually pretty, pretty good. I used those uh, on a trip that I went to New York recently, and um, I, I went in with transparency mode. I sat down, put in my noise cancellation and I couldn't hear anything. My wife was tapping at me because she was talking and she thought I was listening to her and I was like zoned out. And she tapped me because I couldn't hear it. And, and it's pretty good, just especially for the size of them and, and how small they are. They are, I think they're, they're amazing. So if you guys are interested in a good pair of noise cancellation, I recommend those. And I also recommend the both 700s. I'm not gonna say they're not good because they are amazing as well, just that they're just so big. But if you want something portable, the AirPod Pros are the second essential is good accessories. Everybody needs good accessories. In my opinion, jewelry is so underrated. People, guys don't want to wear it just because they feel they're gonna look too feminine or whatever, but they actually complete your outfits. You know, having a good, you know, some good rings on, some bracelets, watches, necklaces, especially if they're minimal like this one. This one's from Rose Gold and Black. And actually you can get an amazing deal from this one. You can get it for 45% off right now because they have 30% in an entire store. And then if you use any of the coupon codes, and I'll put the coupon codes down below as well and the link so you can go to their store you get 45 percent off just on the necklaces everything else is 30 percent off they give you uh worldwide shipping they give you all that and you guys have heard me talk about rose and black i mean they are our sponsor and and we love them and not just because they're a sponsor just because we do actually love them we don't just take anybody as a sponsor we actually look into them and if we like the quality we like how they look uh, i think the price is perfect we take them as a sponsor if we don't i mean there's thousands of sponsors that we just tell them no because they just don't meet our criteria and rose gold and black has been able to meet that and they have amazing stuff they have this one in rose gold they have the silver one that they restocked and they also have it in black and in my opinion they just completes your outfit and, and what i love about it is there's a one-stop shop for accessories you can get a watch from there you can get rings from there you can get bracelets from there and you can get necklaces with you know without going to different places and you can get different type of bracelets different types of rings and different types of, uh, of necklaces. So it's it's pretty cool. So check out Rose Gold and Black, guys. I'll have the link down below so you can check them out. Get a good pair of accessories. It's gonna complete your outfits and make you look better. And it just, you know, just makes you look cooler, in my opinion. You know, I always have a watch. I always have a bracelet. I always have my wedding band. And I always carry a, a necklace with me. So check out Rose Gold and Black, guys. I'll have the link. The next one is the Ember Mug. The Ember Mug was a gift from my wife and I, and I love this mug just because I drink coffee. I like drinking coffee. And I like a good hot cup of joe. I don't like it warm. I don't like it cold. I like it hot. So this is helps me do that. I actually recorded a whole video, edited the whole thing. I forgot I had coffee in my mug. And when I went back to it, it was cold. And then I did that again with the Ember Mug and I went back to it and it was nice and hot. The cool thing about the Ember Mug is that it has presets. If you like tea, um, they will have presets for that. It has presets for coffee as well, but you don't have to stick to those presets. If you want it even warmer, you can just scroll and move it up and make it as warm as you want it. I think it goes up to around 150 degrees, which, you know, it's Fahrenheit, which is very hot. Um, and it keeps it like that for a few hours. I mean, I went, like I said, I recorded a video, edited a video, and I went back and it was nice and hot. So it, there's nothing worse than going to a hot cup of joe and not being hot it's actually being like room temperature it's disgusting anyways ember mug is amazing for that and it runs for around 120 dollars which it's, it's not bad for the type of technology and it's a bluetooth you control it through your phone you know it's rechargeable it comes with a little dock for it and then you, it keeps your coffee warm or tea whatever it is so definitely worth a, a 
next one is a good knife. A good knife is a must, in my opinion. And and a lot of you guys don't like carrying knives and all that, but listen to me. It actually can save your life. I've I've met people that use it to or break windows and rip seat belts and stuff like that, so just because they had a knife. They listened to our uh, our recommendations and they actually had it, and it saved their life after an accident. I mean, they, they couldn't get out, they were stuck, they needed to get out, and they were able to do it with that knife. Um, and not only that, if you even if you work in an office, there's times that you're gonna open packages and stuff like that. Instead of you just ripping the box and like a five-year-old, you can just open the box nice and you can reuse that box as well for something else, for storage, for moving, for shipping things out. If you rip it like that, you're never gonna use it again. So having a good knife is actually pretty good and you don't have to get something, you know, like an automatic knife like we carry. You can get something nicer that doesn't look too intimidating to people like a Swiss Army knife and stuff like that that it's, it's not gonna cost you an arm and a leg. So check out, you know, get, get, get a good knife that has multiple, like mine, it's a knife and a glass breaker. That's really much of what I need. But if you want something more, you can check out a Swiss Army knife, which you can get it. It will have a file, it will have like a little saw, it have a little scissors and all that stuff. And, and it doesn't look intimidating. Everybody knows what a Swiss Army knife is. The next one is a good watch. Now a good watch, I don't have to, you know, you don't have to get a thousand two thousand twenty thousand dollar watch if that floats your boat and that's what you want like we like nice watches automatic watches with you know from rolex ap uh patek and all that go ahead i mean if you can afford it go ahead but you don't have to spend thousands of dollars in watches you can actually get a watch for example a seiko uh, skx uh, 007 i had one and i got just ahead for a hundred about 150 bucks used you can get a brand new one i think for around 230 bucks it's it is expensive but it's a watch that's gonna last you a very very long time and you can pass down to your kids for around 200 300 bucks and if you don't want an automatic watch you don't want to watch that you know doesn't have the history and heritage that's fine you know you just want to watch it tells you time time is the most valuable thing that we have and we can't afford to waste it so always having time management knowing what time it is and being on time to things is a must so having a watch helps you with that you know yes we have it on our phones and all that but also when you're in a meeting you don't want to take out your phone and look at the time you can just you know flip the wrist look at the time and go on like i said some people don't want the heritage and all that they so get a fashion watch you know you can get one from rose green black they have watches that look amazing and they're not going to bring them back especially if you click the link down below you get already 30 percent off so you're going to get 30 percent off that watch it's gonna look good so give you the time is it ain't gonna break the back the next one is the dop kit now if you're a travel this is a must because it keeps everything or, or a toiletry bag it keeps everything in one bag it's not all over your luggage uh, it looks good especially if you know you're go with your girl you don't want to have a ziploc bag with you know, all your stuff like you know a five-year-old you want something that looks nice now i have an lv one and i have a tumi one a tumi one was around 80 bucks you can get that one for around 80 bucks and sometimes they have good sales of 30 percent off 20 percent off on their website and you can it's a very good one it lasted me a long time i still use it i still have it there and um it carried everything i, I put my brush in there my comb in there my hair products cologne toothpaste toothbrush floss cotton swabs uh, it's just everything that I needed would fit in there and, and it would just whenever I take a shower I would just grab it take it to a shower and put it back in my luggage after I was done You don't have to break the bank for it You know um, if you want a free one you can check out you know manscape manscape has deals that we've talked about it that we're giving away a dop kit if you just buy the package 2.0 you know you're already buying the stuff you're getting a free dop kit right there that you can use and it's made of leather um you can go to mahi leather mahi leather sells them as well a very nice leather at a very affordable price compared to to other places so grab a good dop kit stop carrying stuff around in a bag and especially if, if you travel a lot if you don't travel a lot there's no need to carry or buy a dop kit at all you know it's just something if you the next one is a good cologne now a good cologne is a must now the problem with colognes is that it's very subjective there's very few colognes out there that is going to please the masses but that's what i recommend you to get a good cologne that pleases the masses now because you can use you can just buy one and use it for work you can use it for dates you can use it for running errands and stuff like that and, and most people are going to like it i'm going to give you about four or five colognes that i think is, is going to help you and please the masses the first one is doge and gabbana the one the next one is blue de chanel um, I will get the perfume for that one. The next one is Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue. And the next one is Y by YSL. 
all these colognes, I've never had any issues. I've gotten compliments actually from girls. I've gotten compliments from guys. They've all loved it. They all think this smells amazing. So, I mean, like I said, it's a very vanilla cologne that everybody's going to love. Nobody's going to really hate. Everybody's going to no, feel comfortable around and you don't have to worry about all that. So check out, you know, these colognes and, and buy one. They're running for around 90, 80, 90 bucks, which, you know, that's what colognes typically do. The next one is having a good face brush. Face brushes are a must just so you can keep your face clean, acne free, remove all that dirt, all the grime, blackheads, etc. And we have one coming out for Higumi as well. As you guys know, Higumi is launching February 1st at 10 a.m. So put that in your calendars. Don't forget about that. And we're very, very excited because this thing is amazing. You have, you know, your face brush that is going to clean you up, prepare you for shaving, make you look good, make, you know, remove all that grime from your face. And on the other side, you turn it over and you can tone your face so you can help, you know, the, the production of collagen and, and you, so you can look younger so if you guys are interested in this brush you can get it for heat grooming like i said february 1st at 10 a.m so sign up to our newsletter follow us on instagram so you know and you're up to date of what's going on with that finally a good book now i recommend to at least read one book a month or one book every two months you know um, especially if you're not a reader that's a good start if you're a reader you know try to read a book a week and that's going to help you a lot but if you're not a reader start slow you know you, you can start slow and if you're not a reader as well you can do try uh, using audiobooks and they're amazing but these books are going to teach you how to you know manage people better become a better leader um how to make money um marketing inventory all this stuff that you know that that you're going to learn that school doesn't teach you but these books are going to teach you and and, and just going to make you better smarter it's going to exercise your brain it's going to exercise your eyes and the more you read the better reader you're going to become and a better communicator you're going to become and you know when you're talking to people you can actually you know you are going to have all this knowledge that you can use for conversations as well and it's just going to make you smarter it's going to make you better and it's going to help you with business life etc all right guys so i hope you guys enjoyed this video uh let me know what you think leave a comment down below remember to follow like subscribe and i'll see you guys next time